another van build video. Um, so the other day I spent some time building our first upper cabinet and it turned out pretty good. Um, I didn't have much to go off of, I just watched a couple YouTube videos, um, stole some ideas. Um, I'll link a couple of the videos down in the description, but anyway. Uh, I learned a lot after making this first cabinet. Um, places that could be improved on, places that I made mistakes on, like for instance that right there, but I salvaged it. But I will try to walk you through what steps I took and then some tips for the other two cabinets I'm going to build out. So step number one was to make a cardboard template, usually cutting it and getting closer and closer to the wall until I had a piece that kind of fit and was um, at least 90 degree angled down. So the next step um, that I took was to cut the bottom piece of our cabinet and that is made with a half inch of birch plywood. So it's this long rectangle of piece. Um, it just depends on how long you want your cabinet to be. I believe now we can start assembling. Um, I will say a word of advice whenever building out these upper cabinets is to do one at a time, like to completion. Don't try to make cuts for all of them at once because you never know when you might make like a, a, a measurement mistake and I'll just mess you up. much later I've been at this for a few hours um, so I'm on my last and final cabinet but as I was working on the last and final one um, I'm always thinking of ways to speed up the process or make it easier on myself um, and I forgot that when we were doing the ceiling I was using the nail gun so I decided to use a nail gun for a lot of these pieces so I'm not having issues now with the screw splitting the wood and I've noticed that a couple times where I try to screw into it, but since half inch um, plywood is so thin, sometimes the screws will will crack the wood. So with the nail gun, I, I, I don't run into that issue. hole in anything. Or is it? Yes. Alright, go ahead. You always do everything. Right there? Yep. Alright, now what? Now just drill. You don't have to push. It will drill a hole for you. And then once it gets in the hole, it should guide itself down. Good job. finish priming the spots where we're gonna end up putting paint um, we did all three of them now we're just gonna let them dry the inside we're just gonna do like a clear coat 
of the polyurethane and then the outside will paint in the cabinet color that Diana chose. So I use this, I guess it's like polyurethane um, clear coat and it really makes the inside look even better. Um, and the nice thing about this is if we spill something on the inside of the cabinet, it's easy to wipe it and clean it off. Um, and then this is just a white primer. Uh, we'll probably let this um, dry for the day and then we'll come back and then paint over it. But it looks pretty good. So I did all three of them. Those two up there are just drying out. Uh, we got this one right here. And once we paint it, I think we should be in a good spot to install it. I still need to make the measurements for the face frames and we're trying to go for like a minimalist look um, but once once we get the cabinets installed then we can start constructing the face frames. Mm -hmm. 